Okay children, now we are going to observe how the stem appears under microscope. For that we have selected a plant called Tridax plant. In Telugu we call that Gaddi Cheman because the flowers of the Tridax they resemble the flowers of Chrysanthemum. That's why we call them Gaddi Chemanthi and it is a herbaceous plant. Herbaceous in a sense that it has a soft stem so that it is easy for us to take the TS of the stem and absorb it under microscope. So after mounting the thin slices of this stem under the microscope, we will be observing what are the different types of cells and how these different types of cells group together to form different types of tissues. That's what we are going to observe and we will also be comparing different types of tissues present in the stem. So before you start taking the TS of any stem, first of all you have to remove all the leaves from the stem. You need to collect the stem which is soft enough so that we can take the TS, remove the leaves from that and then cut 2 to 3 centimeters length of stems and carefully you have to put them in the watch glass. So this is how we can place the stems after removing the leaves in the watch glass. Now we need to absorb these stems under microscope. But in order to absorb the stem under microscope, we have to first of all cut the stem into thin slices so that they will be transparent and allow us to see whatever the cells or tissues present in them very clearly under microscope. And how can we take the thin slices of these stems? I am going to tell you now. Before we begin, we have to make sure that we should have all the apparatus that is required to perform this experiment. As in this case, we have to take the TS, we need certain instruments to take the thin slices. Now let us see what are the different types of instruments that you need in order to take the thin slices and observe it under the microscope. We need some watch glasses and we also need slides. Watch glasses are required to temporarily place the thin slices in the water. Watch glasses are convex shaped so that we can pour some water in them and the specimens can be kept in the water so that they can't dry. And we also need thin cover slips so that we can cover the specimen while mounting under microscope. And we also need slides because we have to place the specimen on the slide while mounting under microscope. Then we also need needle, we need forceps and we also need brush. This brush is required to transfer the specimen or the thin slices that you have taken from the watch glass onto the slide. As the thin slices of stem that you have taken, they are very thin and delicate. You cannot use needle or forceps or your fingers to transfer these thin slices from the watch glass to the slide. If you do that with the help of your finger or forceps, the thin slices will be broken and you cannot observe them clearly under microscope. That is why we use this brush to transfer the specimen from the watch glass to the slide. And we also need a dropper because we have to place a few drops of water on the slide. At the same time, we should also place a few drops of saffron stain solution into the watch glass. For that purpose, we need this dropper. And of course, we also need a sharp blade because we have to cut the stem into thin slices which are transparent and good enough to observe under microscope. And we also need glycerin so that we can prevent the specimen from drying very quickly and we also need a stain solution which is saffronin in this case. Children we add saffronin stain to the specimen so that the cell walls can take the stain and the cells can be clearly visible under microscope. That's why we need saffronin and glycerin A as I told you it is required to prevent the specimen drying very quickly while you are observing. Okay. And we also need pure water as I told you. In this case water that you use should be free of any kind of impurities because if at all impurities are there they are visible under microscope and they will interfere with the specimen that you are about to observe. That's why you have to make sure that the water is clear. Now after arranging all these things you have to take the stem which is soft and I told you that they have to be cut with a length of 2 to 3 centimeters. Take this specimen in your left hand and hold the blade in your right hand. Make sure that when you hold the stem in your left hand between your fingers, the stem should be vertical and the blade when you hold it in your right hand, the blade should be horizontal and the blade in your right hand should be perpendicular to the stem that you held in your left hand between the fingers. 
now slowly try to cut very thin sections of this stem but make sure that while cutting you should not cut your fingers okay try to take the sections as thin as possible so that they become transparent and clearly visible under microscope then after cutting all these specimens carefully transfer them into the watch glass containing the water okay now you can see the thin slices that you have taken just now by putting them in the watch glass containing the water you can prevent them from drying very quickly now the next step is you have to add some stain to these thin sections so that the cells and tissues will be clearly visible for that purpose you have to take the dilute saffron stain solution in a watch glass now you have already taken the sections in a watch glass containing water carefully with the help of a brush transfer the thin slices into the watch glass containing the saffron stain solution and keep it in the stain solution for a few minutes or 2 to 3 minutes after keeping it in the stain for 2 to 3 minutes now you have to carefully transfer the same slices into the watch glass containing pure water now these thin slices are ready to be absorbed under microscope now all you have to do is just transfer or place these thin slices on the slide and place a drop of water with the help of a brush now carefully you have to place a cover slip on the specimen so that you can absorb it carefully without any difficulty you can also add glycerin to the section if you want to keep this section without drying for some time now mount this slide containing the thin slice on the stage of the microscope now focus it under the low power objective and high power objective and if you observe the cells this is how the cells appear under microscope in these cells you can observe there are so many types of cells of different sizes and the cells are arranged in the form of tissues and uh, some of the cells are hollow some of the cells are very small there are some cells towards outside which are very thin about how the cells are arranged in this stem and what are the different groups of arrangement of cells we will be discussing in our next session Okay children, I will meet you in my next session.